This video shows the installation of the Falcon 3.4 Remote Air Adjust Piggyback Shocks, which uses a two-position switch to adjust dampening settings from soft to firm. We will show you an overview of the Falcon Shock installation and the wire harness and airline installation. Since every Wrangler is configured differently, you may need to change certain steps to suit your particular setup. To install the front Falcon shocks, orient the shaft down with the stickers facing out. The reservoir points toward the rear of the vehicle. Tighten the top nut to 15 foot-pounds. Ensure the alignment tab is seated properly. Install the lower eyelet into the shock mount and torque to 40 foot-pounds. Install the rear shocks by sliding the slotted end of the bar pin onto a loosely installed bolt, then torque to 30 foot-pounds. Install the lower eyelet onto the provided stud. As you can see, this vehicle has the optional Falcon bolt-on skid plate already installed for added protection. To install the provided stud and spacer, drill the outer bracket hole to 5 8 of an inch. Install the stud with the spacer inside the mounting bracket. Torque the stud nut to 40 foot-pounds. Lubricate the outer stud and install the shock onto the stud. Torque the outer nut to 40 foot-pounds. For instructional purposes, we will tie the solenoid to the quarter-inch NPT pressure switch port. However, another port may be used. Remove the quarter-inch NPT pressure switch. Tape the male end of the T-fitting and install onto the compressor. Pressure fittings don't require a high torque to form a tight seal so go just a little more than hand tight. Reinstall the quarter inch NPT pressure switch into the T-fitting. Remember to retape any fittings you have to remove. Install the pipe reducer Install the solenoid The valve on the solenoid should be oriented as seen in this image. Install the push to connect fitting. Here are a couple of examples of the setup on a compressor in the engine bay. The two cables coming off the solenoid are the ground wire, which connects to a frame mounted bolt, and the switch connector which plugs into the wire harness from the switch. The wire harness has three ends, the power, the ground, and the plug to the compressor. All three connect to the switch. If your compressor is in a different location on the vehicle than the engine bay, Falcon Shocks offers a wire harness extension kit. The switch has to connect to a switch panel. To install, begin by removing the side dash panel. Remove the window switch and the 7mm bolt inside the opening for the window switch. Take out the rubber lining from the catch-all tray and remove the 7mm bolt. Remove the panel under the steering column by pulling down and remove the bolts on either side of the steering column. The upper driver's side dash panel should now lift free. Remove the climate control panel. There may be a sound like breaking plastic. This is normal. Locate the back of the cigarette liner receptacle. Run the wire from the side panel along the dashboard to the climate control panel.
Attach the splice terminal to the blue wire with pink stripe and connect the power wire to the splice terminal. Connect the ground wire from the switch to the vehicle body. If the compressor is located in the engine bay, the plug from the switch must go through the firewall and connect to the plug from the solenoid. Connect the switch to the panel. The air lines need to run from all four shocks to the compressor. The kit includes three Y connectors and 50 feet of quarter inch PVC tube. The best route for the air lines from the rear shocks to the compressor takes you up the control arms or the brake lines. Send one line between the frame and the body to the other side. Make sure to keep the line away from the exhaust and any moving parts. Avoid pinch points, especially if you run the lines along the control arms. Have the lines connect closer to the rear, so you only have to run one line to the front. Use the provided zip ties as needed. Keep the air lines a safe distance from the exhaust system. The lines from the front shocks go into the engine bay. Run the passenger side along the vehicle wire harness. Feed the driver's side in up to the compressor. Use one Y connector to divide the air between the front and the rear. The other two connectors divide those front and rear lines between driver and passenger. Remember to put your connections in places that are easily accessible in case there is need to change out the connectors. That's the end of the installation for the remote air adjust Falcon Shocks. If you have specific questions that are not answered in this video, please contact Falcon Shocks via the link in the video description. Thank you for watching.